Now, government wants to change South Africa's tender laws. The National Treasury has published the draft public procurement bill for public comment. But experts are not happy. Megan Adley, a partner at law firm, Weber Wenzel says the draft bill creates some uncertainties. Adley is my guest this morning. A very good morning to you. What are your concerns? Well, Jane, um, a major concern is at the moment the key issue that everybody wants to know about being the criteria for the award of tenders or, or what determines the outcome of tenders is not set out in the draft procurement bill. And in terms of the Constitution, this framework is required to be set out in national legislation. So it's, it's alarming that government has elected to take what it calls a flexible approach where the framework will be determined in regulations made by the minister rather than by parliament. Um, so at the moment I mean, we have what, a framework what do you suspect where might happen in that case. Well, a concern from the perspective of bidders is that when you have a framework in legislation, firstly, the process by which it is determined uh, goes through Parliament. So it's a lot more deliberative and you get a lot more chances to have your voice heard and for deliberation to take place in the process. Also, um, it's much quicker to change regulations. So what could happen is that the minister can repeatedly change these regulations in a way that disadvantages people and forces them out of the economy if they're dependent on government contracts, we kind of need to have long-term certainty in a law that is difficult to change. And obviously this is a, you know, a, an important document. It affects many people. What is your conversation with them and uh, how do you think they will end up tackling this? What sort of pressure can you put on them? Well, I mean, there currently is a process where people can submit um, comments on the bill, and so we're urging our clients to to put pressure on government through their comments uh, to clarify the position, because we want a framework provided by Parliament for for the minister to make regulations in. Because at the moment, it could be anything, you know. Um, it could completely change the face of tender laws and force people out of the economy. Megan Adley, good to talk to you. Thank you.